Today, I am going to show you how to do basic body angles. So let's get into this. This is usually how I do body angles. So we have it split into torso X, torso Y, torso Z, hips X, hip Z, position X, position Y, and position Z. These are all on physics parameters linked to body XYZ, position XYZ. For today's model, we are just going to be doing the X, Y, and Z. First, I want to create the parameters for this. We want torso X, Y, and Z. I usually put this on minus 30 to 30. So something that I like to do for torso X, and we're going to make a limited range of motion on this just to make it easy for ourselves. And to do this real quick, we are going to go into the menu up here, apply 3D rotation expression. So this is going to uh, generate it for us. And we want to change the mapping here because we do not want this on angle X and angle Y. We want the X direction to be on torso X. The Y direction, we're going to remove that, but for now I'm gonna dump it on torso Y. So I want this to be a little bit more subtle. Let's say 10 degree turn. How does that look? That is a good amount of rotation there. Uh, I also forget to put the bow in this. So we can just drag and drop our deformers. It's very handy. Let's make sure the chest has more of a pop in this direction. Because the chest sticks out from the rest of the body, right? So as you can see, while the rotation looks like a flat plane, around the chest, it's starting to look more 3D. And this will happen as we move things around. And then we're going to select the skirts. Make sure that's somewhat even on the left and the right. We're going to control shift C and control shift V because we don't have a hip wiggle. It's fine to put the hips on the torso. So we are going to reflect motion on that. We want to reflect motion on the rest here as well. So now I want to take the neck. Let's see if that's bound to anything. It is not, which means we can freely do things with that. But I think I just want to take what's on the neck rather than the neck itself. So we got the middle done, basically. <laughs> <laughs> the middle and usually I wouldn't move the hips with it but again because this is a simple model we're not going to have any hip swing which means we can just put everything on the torso basically okay now what we're going to do is when she's turning this way I want the arm to rotate slightly and pull that in this is uh, basically vibes based. I don't really have a set rule for what we're doing here. <laughs> we're, we're just going off of what I think looks good. On the opposite side, we're gonna swing the arm out a bit. And this is like, you know, she's trying to find her balance. And the legs are surprisingly one layer each. So that makes it easier for me. 
usually you want multiple layers in the legs. I, I just want to <laughs> preface that. You want multiple layers in the legs, but for simplicity's sake, one layer is fine. As long as it's not both legs on one layer, because I would have a migraine if that happens. So what I want to do for the legs, and usually this again would be bound to the hips, to the hip swing. But since we don't have hip swing on this model, we're going to just put this on the torso X. So what I want to do is create a sizable brush that's just big enough to not cover the tips of the feet. This is very important. You want to leave the tips of the feet in place where they are, do not move them. Especially when you're a beginner rigger, it is crucial that you please do not move the feet. <laughs> we're gonna take the brush and we're gonna move to the side. And then we want to smooth that movement out uh, without moving the toes. Okay, now when we move to the other side, I think it looks better if only one leg moves on the torso X. And I will explain why. If we lean this leg to the side on this side and we lean the other leg to the side on the other side, then the moment you get to this point of the movement, it starts looking really awkward. It starts looking jumpy. And we don't want that. We want this to look smooth, elegant. Okay, so what we're gonna do when we lean to the other side is we're gonna make a less dramatic bend. Mm, it doesn't look quite right when this leg doesn't move at all. So we are going to make a little bit, just, just a tiny bit of a bend on this leg. Just a, just a tiny bit. Just something super smooth, you know? Just subtle. We're making it subtle. There we go. And that looks good. I actually like that. So we are completely done with the torso X. And now let's see how that looks in motion. And this is without any of the body physics, by the way, because we're going to make the arms move in physics. We're going to make the chest move in physics. We're going to make the clothes move in physics. This is just how it looks static. These are just the basic angles. So let's see how that looks. So we want to add a physics group and we call this torso X. We leave the input preset blank and the physics. I have one for this <laughs> body physics. And I want to put the reaction time on, let's put it on 0 0.4. Why not? So on the input, we want the body X type angle effective 100% with the angle minimum being 60 and the maximum being 60. And then on the output, we have torso X. And now we move her around a little bit, you know, swing her around. Make sure we have the maximum output on her. And then we increase and then we decrease a little bit. So we stay under a hundred on the output. And this is how she moves. You see, there's a, a slight bit of a delay compared to the head. So what we're going to do next is we're going to do torso Y. Now, usually the whole body goes up and down on position Y rather than torso Y. But since we're not doing position on this model, we're not doing any of the position parameters on this model, we're going to make her bounce up and down a little on the torso Y. What we're going to do is we create a new deformer with the body and the arms and then bind it to torso Y. And on the plus 30, 
we want her chest to lift and her shoulders to drop. And on the minus 30, we want her chest to drop and her shoulders to lift. And this is the usual torso Y. This is all we usually do to torso Y because the rest of the Y movement will be coming from position Y usually. So we're gonna get the head, the halo, the neck, and the deformer we just created. Uh, let's get the bow back in the wings as well. And we're going to make a new deformer for that. And I'm still gonna be calling it position Y just so I know what it does. But what we do here on the plus 30 is we lift everything up. <laughs> That's it. We, we just lift. And on the torso Y down, we go down. Uh, might be a little bit too dramatic. So we have a little bit of a bounce, even with limited deformers and parameters that we're using. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to take the legs we want to make her stand on her tippy toes, basically. So we take everything except for the toes. We want to go up and out. Make extra sure that the heel is lifted there. And then when going down, we want to go down and in and make sure the heel is down. As you can see, the toes stay in place. The toes never move. So now we're going to go into physics settings and we're going to go and duplicate the torso X and say torso Y. We replace the body X on the input with body Y and on the output, we replace torso X with torso Y. So these are the basic body angles X and Y, and they are uh, limited angles for simplicity. So we don't have a huge range of motion on this, but it is a solid motion. <laughs> Now, the last one we have for today for the body is the torso Z, which is leaning left to right. Mm, let's see what we grab for this. I'm gonna say position Y is probably a good one to use for this as well. So what I wanna do here, so I wanna bind that and then with the selection tool, I want to grab the upper body. And what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to rotate that. <laughs> rotate, drag. Oh. And because we only selected the upper body, that's the only part that moves. We're gonna fix the arms in a second. We're gonna need to fix the wings as well. <laughs> but for now, let's reflect motion on that. And then we want to synthesize corners. And now we grab the wings. So 
So again, we duplicate this. Torso Z, and we go body Z. Output settings, torso Z. And now this on its own is okay. You see the little bit of delay between the head and the body. But what I like to do is I like to reflect. My tip for beginners would be to stick to small movements at first. Because if you mess up on the small movements, it's not going to be as noticeable as when you mess up on the big movements. So it's just overall going to look better until you're confident to tackle those big movements. You know what? Let's do the legs. We need another deformer on top of the one we already made per leg. We bind this to torso Z. And as she bends uh, this way, we want this to be down and in. Not that far down. More like this. And then when she moves that way, up and out. And this is how the basic body angles look. Do you want me to just speed run physics so you can kind of see how it would look with physics? I can do that. Remember when you said the body motion looked stiff? <laughs> Remember when you said it looked stiff? Is looking great movement wise? I mean, if it's not, you can let me know. <laughs> you are allowed to let me know if this does not look good. <laughs> I did speed run uh, the physics here, so it's it might be a little bit jumpy. Um, but this is what the movement will look like. Uh, but yeah. <laughs>